So this story where we're gonna go is a school for special need kids and they have a program where dogs come and visit kids with autism. The combination of kids and dogs to me is like the ultimate uh, pair. Yeah. Hey, hey! Hey, Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> How are, How are you? you doing? Welcome to the help group. Thank you. These are our nice volunteers. Nice to meet you all, ladies. Nice to meet you. Isn't this awesome? So awesome. I'm Dr. Jason Bolton. I'm the uh, vice president of programs for the help group, a nonprofit organization that works with kids who are on the autism spectrum or have emotional challenges or have developmental disabilities. Dogs are an amazing tool to be able to use for kids who have developmental delays and autism. Dogs provide a sort of a calming influence. And for kids who have challenges, that state of calmness is really important because it lets them be ready for learning. Also, they develop a bond with the dog. And when kids with autism engage with dogs, they tend to socialize with each other more. We are so excited for Caesar and Andre to come by. We want to show them what we're doing with dogs. I know that it'll have an impact on Caesar and Andre as well. You ready to go see the first classroom? Let's go. Come on. Let's, Let's go. go. Come on. Let's go. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. You guys are This is awesome. my son, Andre. Hi, everyone. Hi. So, guys, do dogs have emotions just like people do? Yes. So in the first class that we're seeing today, um, there are students who may have autism but are high functioning, so their cognitive abilities are in the average range. One of the things that kids with autism may have difficulty with is recognizing emotion from others' facial features. So they're gonna use the dog to say, what can you tell about this dog from looking at his face? And that helps generalize to humans as well. Let's take a look at Bailey. Tell me about how she is feeling and how can you tell? Well, mouth is her mouth is closed. Yeah. Are her ears hanging down? Yeah. Recent research has shown that when dogs gaze into our eyes, a beneficial hormone is released in both the animal and the human. So interacting with Bailey helps these kids to be more calm and focused, which allows them to learn more easily. All right, class. So tell me, what does Bailey mean to you guys when you see Bailey? I like when she gives me kisses and hugs. Mm. Sometimes when I'm frustrated, she's like someone who calms me down. Excellent. You guys are all awesome. Aren't they? With a dog like Bailey in the classroom, these children can learn basic social interaction skills they can also use with people. What do you think should be the first thing you do when you want to pet somebody's dog? Andy? Ask the owner. That's right. That is the very first thing. Ask the owner if it is okay. 